Hi there folks, I'm at the range today and I'm doing a bit of an experiment with my Remington 700 5R in 308 Winchester. And what I'm doing is I'm trying some uh, 4064 powder, IMR 4064 powder, and I'm comparing it to Dominion Arms D4064 SSC powder, which is being sold as a sort of a similar powder to burn rate to the IMR product. So what we've got here are, get the camera focused on this here, we've got uh, Lapua Palma cases. These are the small rifle 308 cases. And I've got a CCI bench rest primer in there. And these have uh, 155 green Sierra Palma bullet in them. And I think it's the old style Palma bullet. It's the the number, uh, was it 2155? I think it's the part number on that one. And anyway, these ones uh, that are not marked have 45 grains of IMR 4064. And then I have some other ones here that I have written Dominion on, and they have the same charge weight of the Dominion D4064 Super Shortcut powder. So we will see how they perform velocity wise. The uh, Dominion powder so far seems to be a little slower burning, so we shall see. We've got the chronograph set up and we're going to fire 10 of each over the chronograph. So we'll start off with the IMR 4064 loaded round first. Crank the power up in the scope here. So here's five rounds out of a cold, clean barrel, and that's looking like a little less than seven eighths of an inch. And that is with the IMR 4064 powder. Here is group number two with the IMR 4064 powder. And once the barrel got fouled, it settled down a little bit more. We've got uh, five rounds in here in a bit of a uh, horizontal string. And what's that look like center to center? Um, I would say that's about five eighths of an inch center to center. There goes maybe a little better than that. So. Uh, not bad for a barrel that's got probably somewhere between four and a half and five thousand rounds through it. So let's have a look at the chronograph. And this is out of a 24 inch uh, barrel from the Remington 5R. Chronograph is about eight feet in front of the muzzle. So our low speed shot, 2720. Our high, 2746 for an average of 27.33. Extreme spread, 25.9. That's uh, pretty darn good. Standard deviation, 9.74. 10 shots. And here are the individual readings. So obviously this is a very good consistent 
load velocity wise anyway. And I'll reiterate the, uh, the load here before I shut the camera off. And it is the Lapua Palma case with a CCI bench rest 4 primer, 45 grains of 4064, the uh, 155 grain Sierra Palma bullet number uh, 2155, and the overall length is 2.80 inches. Here's group number one with the 45 grain charge of Dominion D4064 SSC. As you can see the group's uh, a little bit more round but it's probably a bit bigger as well. Um, still not bad, looks like under 5 eighths of an inch, or sorry under 7 eighths of an inch I would say. Anyway we'll probably measure that up a little closer when we get home but Still a little bit bigger group, but I noticed from the chronograph that the velocities are a bit lower than we get with the, uh, the real IMR brand powder. Let's have a look at the chronograph, and this is the 45 grain of Dominion D4064 SSC with the 155 grain Sierra Palma bullet. So our low is 2490, high 2562 for an average of 2523. So considerably slower than the IMR powder. Extreme spread, 72. Standard deviation, 22, so the standard deviation is higher. And the individual 10 shots. So this is not quite as good a load, but I think really what it needs is just to be upped another probably grain or two to get to the same level of performance as the IMR powder, and I think it would shoot probably just as well. There's lots of room in the case for more of this powder, and the pressures appear to be fairly uh, reasonable as well. So let's go have a look at the target. So here's group number two with the uh, Dominion Arms D4064 powder, and it looks to be kind of similar in size to the first one. Anyway, I'm gonna wait till I get home to measure these up and get a, a more exact measurement of the group sizes.